Hi everyone, I'm forming a quick video on the ring um, doorbell. I've, I'm making this video mainly to answer some questions that I just couldn't find online anywhere, so I thought maybe I might answer some of these. So I've got mine wired, um, and I've also um, read on reviews about water getting into the back of these, so I put a bit of tape down the top there to stop water going down the back, affecting them. So I wired it all up and then connected it to um, a battery bell box. I'm in the UK, not the US, and it didn't work. Um, the bell didn't ring. I had one in there which had the four C batteries. Um, wired it to the doorbell, nothing. It wouldn't ring the bell. And I couldn't have live view either. So if you want live view where you just tap on the, um, the camera and say right show me the camera now like a CCTV camera it will only work if it's wired to a doorbell so I messaged them and uh, they said uh, they gave me a list of compatible models so this one here is a Byron 766 um, it's a proper ding-dong normal standard chime and you notice here I've got a mains wire I've actually taken it up into our attic we're in a bungalow and I've taken it to um, a mains plug, just a 30 down plug, because the transformer is actually built into the doorbell, which is really good. I don't have to have one of the horrible transformer plugs, just a normal mains plug on a 3 amp fuse. Out the back of this, you then get um, 8 volt, 1 amp going to the doorbell, and immediately my uh, ring doorbell on the control panel came up with hardwired. I thought, ah, oh, brilliant. So I emailed the ring team and said, I'm now hardwired, please can you make, activate it so I've got live view. And they just did it remotely, they connect to your doorbell for you. Uh, which got me thinking, I really hate the horrible chime noise it makes outside. Um, so my dog's gonna bark when I do this, but you'll notice. Mine does not make that horrible ding, 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 ding noise, you know, that outside. So I don't want to disturb my neighbours. I couldn't find anywhere on the control panel to stop that horrible noise or control the volume. Um, but then I found out if you email the support team, they can turn it off for you. Um, so that's silent outside now. And I've got the ding dong inside and it's all hardwired. So I've got everything I want. The other thing to keep in mind is if you change the motion sensitivity you then have to press the doorbell to apply it which is quite irritating um, and when you press it because it's applying a new setting the tone will activate then just for that one time and once it's applied the settings um, it goes back to a silent switch outside um, so i hope this helps so as i said this is uk based so all the videos i found online were all us and none of them seem to answer these simple questions i was after of you know Hardwire, what does that actually mean? It doesn't work with battery. It has to be a mains driven bell box. Um, as I said, I found the Byron 766. They have got a list, if you ask them, of all the other bell boxes that will work. Uh, this seemed the easiest one to get in the UK on Amazon. The others I can find, they're all in Home Depot and places like that, which are um, sort of more US based. And I wasn't gonna pay tax and duty getting one shipped over. Um, and then, Ping the help desk, their support is superb at Ring, really, really good support team. They're very quick at coming back to you um, and they're very proactive in their approach. They asked me a lot of questions and answered a lot of them as well. And they're very quick to do any activations you want. Okay, so if you've got any questions, please put them underneath this video, I'll reply. And uh, yeah, overall, I think fantastic product, works well. Both myself and my wife are very happy with it. Um, yeah. Can't fault it really. Brilliant, thank you.